Hello guys, PJ here. This is the part 8 and we are going to see our player health system and enemy attack in this video. So, let's start. So, first of all, we will create the animation of attack for the enemy. So, just click on the enemy sprite, go to the animation window and create new clip. Name it enemy attack. and save it do the same process as we did before start the recording mode and select all the images and just drag them here stop recording mode and change the samples to 24 and this will make the animation look good so next thing is to go to the animator tab here is the attack state so we will connect this here rename this as the wall okay, let's rename it now this is our enemy wall right. okay, it's not changing here okay, let's see Okay, let it be. We will check it later. Make transition. Create the parameter which of which is of type bull and name it is attacking. Okay, let's add the transition now. Here, this will be the true. Okay, first of all, remove the tick mark here and also change the duration to zero. and add the condition is attacking which will be true and this will be false also change the duration to 0 and uncheck this one so let's make the script now so the logic will be we will create one area if the player comes into that area our enemy will start attacking on him so let let me show you first of all we will create one collider capsule collider let's edit that one here it is okay let's change the direction to horizontal So this is our attack area. Let me add just more. So if our player is in the contact of this area, our enemy will attack on him. Also, tick mark here on trigger. Okay. And apply the overrides. So let's start with the first node, which is on trigger stay to D. we need to add the collider here for that we will add the compare tag node and also assign the player tag okay make sure you have the player tag assigned to this connect this one here and we will add the if condition now if our player is colliding with with this collider then we will first of all we will stop the patrolling right so we will set the patrol speed to 0 and then we will start the attacking animation type here the name of the parameter and make the condition true also we need to set the sprite reference here which is enemy sprite and next thing we will damage it will damage the 
health of the player right so we will add the custom event for it and we will trigger that custom event here which will be player damage so now we will need to create this event into the player we need to define the player whole group here for that we will need to create the prefab first so let's create it just drag the drag this one here and it's our prefab now mention that one here okay so let's add the custom event into the player now we will create one variable for the health type of integer and let's assume 50 for now we will set this variable There's something going wrong okay this is we need to set the variable uh, First of all, we will subtract it. With the let's see five. Okay. Then we will add the condition one more. If uh, if our health gets zero then our player will be dead right so condition will be equal to less or equal to zero then it will play the dead animation right for our player set trigger okay we are using set trigger because in the parameter we have defined this state as a trigger need to also need to define the sprite here okay this is it so after our player gets state let's change the scene to game over so for the node it will be load scene It will be game over. First of all, we will create that scene. Let's create that one now. Right click, create, and scene. Okay. Double click on it. Let's add the text only for now. Click on the canvas. Here change the render mode to screen space camera and drag the camera here. Let's add the text. Change the overflow. And let's reset. Okay, this is it. Let's come back again to our level. Now we need to add these scenes into our build settings. Here, just drag it and close this one. Let's play now. Okay. Okay, it is attacking on one time only. Okay, what am I going to see? Okay, let's increase the player health to five hundred. Okay, 
and it will now taking time okay this looks good you can increase or decrease this value let's make it 3 okay, now it is working fine here you can see it is keeping attacking so let's check that one so we need to add the on trigger exit so let's check that one on trigger exit today let's duplicate this one only add if condition So we need exactly opposite to this we we'll just duplicate this one turn this off and set the patrolling speed to again to default it will be minus 2 one more thing is to add the delay here so it will not switch the scene immediately so for that we will add the wait for seconds note so you can add delay as you want i am adding of one second and also enable the coroutine okay click on here and enable the coroutine these are two options to for the variables and this one is for the blackboard graph inspector okay okay let's check now okay this is working If a few four player is in the contact, it is attacking on us. Okay, this time we kill that, kill that one. So this is it for this video. Into the next video, we will see the level building. Okay, I have already completed my level. I will update that one with the gameplay. So. You can also start building your level and we will add the background, sound, camera and let's see what we can do. So till then take care and goodbye.